I wish. Uh, man, what was the appeal to you to come to Hershey? Um, <clears throat> I think uh, for me, the biggest thing now in my career is to try to win a championship. Um, I thought it would be a great opportunity in Hershey. I had actually spoken to a couple people who spent uh, a bunch of years in Hershey, Mike Stuthers, Marcus Foligno, and I don't think uh, either one of them had a bad thing to say about Hershey, and they, they both loved their time here, so it was, it was an easy decision. What do you bring, do you think, to this team, not only in terms of skill, but just in the fact you've been around, you've played, obviously, under the bright lights? How do you help a team like this? I mean, other than a lot more gray hairs than uh, every guy on the team put together, I think, uh, you know, just being around the pro game a bunch of years, I mean, head ups, head downs, uh, I think uh, along with, with producing, I think that's my number one goal is to make sure I'm, I'm helping this team win in producing. But I think when you have someone that's been through it, uh, just sharing your experiences uh, with some of these young guys trying to, you know, do well in the AHL, break into the NHL, and uh, eventually be great players in the NHL. I think just sharing experiences I've been through, um, maybe help a guy, will we'll help a guy out with, with what they're going through. I think uh, you know you see a lot over the years, and maybe coming in, you know, even though these young guys played hockey their whole lives, not pro hockey, um, sometimes it, it catches you uh, pretty quickly. Uh, things going on, so. Uh, I think just helping out that way, making sure that, that everyone's comfortable on the ice, off the ice, and like I said, making sure number one number one priority is to, is to produce and help this team win. How aware were you of just the reputation of Hershey Bears hockey? Um, you know, I think playing in Manchester my first couple of years, it was pretty easy to uh, know what Hershey was all about coming into this building, playing in the playoffs, uh, had the unfortunate... Uh, uh, just going against uh, Giroux and a coin in their heyday. So, um, <laughs> you know, I knew they were a great team for a lot of years, a lot of history. Um, so, yeah, that, that's something being playing in Manchester that I knew pretty quickly coming out here. What did Mike Stothers do for your career? Uh, you kind of hit a tough patch and uh, he kind of got you back. And it's a good play. Yeah, he, you know, he's one of my favorite, if not top two favorite coaches I've ever had. He's uh, like he played the game, he's hard, he, he's strict, but he's he's honest. He tells it like it is. He's not gonna uh, he's not gonna lie to you. He's not gonna sugarcoat anything. And you know, I think as a player, you appreciate that. You know, I, you want to know the truth. You want to know what's going on. And he tells you right away. So there's no shortcuts with him. Um, you know, playing under him was if you work hard, then uh, you, you're going to be rewarded and. Uh, you know, he was, he's just a great person, someone I uh, will we'll continue to be in touch with for the rest of the world. Last year in Ontario, the team had a tough year. Uh, what, what did you learn going through that experience, you know, like yeah, the team like struggling the way they did? Yeah, it was, I mean, it was a tough year. There was a lot of injuries in L.A., so it was, you know, and there's a lot of injuries in the AHL as well. Um, so you had a lot of new faces going through, and I think, you know, going through something like that, it's easy to... Uh, you know, maybe pack it in on nights when you're you're not doing well. Um, you know, I don't think personally I'd ever do that, but definitely not under Mike Stuthers. Uh, so, you know, I, I think just, I mean, I don't know if I learned it as, as much as I knew it before, but no matter, no matter what the situation, everyone's always playing for something. So uh, you owe it to yourself and, and the game to go out there and make sure you're playing. Aside from the obvious, you know, age difference, What's it like being a, a young guy in the NHL versus being a, you're, you're the go-to veteran guy now? What's changed in this league uh, from your perspective and maybe just what you've seen? Um, the difference between being a young guy and an older guy? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, a good question. I don't know. I think I still love the game the same. Um, I think, you know, obviously at my point in my career, I've approached it a little bit differently. Um, you know, these guys are... Are trying to to make it in the NHL. They're trying to you know make a great career out of out of this game. Um, so I think like I had when I came into the league, there's older guys that, that would help me, and uh, I think just more supportive role when you're when you're a little older. I mean, um, making sure you're supporting the young guys and and, and their goals to do to do well.
coaches always sort of say that players are different these days than they were 10 or 15 years ago, but maybe that's just because everybody's older. What do you see? Are, are players different from when you started, or are they still essentially the same? Um, I think when you look back on it, you always say it's different. <laughs> yeah. uh, everyone always says that. Um, maybe a lot more video games these days for the young kids. Uh, <laughs> But uh, yeah, I think there's yeah maybe a, maybe a little bit different. I think uh, everyone these days is extremely skilled, and uh, you know you kind of grow up. You know, I see it with my son; he's five years old. He grew up going to, to private lessons and yeah. doing skills like that. So I think everyone these days they can they can skate and they got uh, amazing skills. So uh, maybe back then it was more defined roles. Yeah. And I don't think everyone worked on their skills that much. <laughs> Is there an excitement level difference for you from when your career first started to, to right now on the, you know, the night before training camp starts? Yeah, I, I mean, I think there's different, there are different excitement levels. I think when I remember my first first year, uh, you know, you your goal is to play in the NHL. You want to play a game in the NHL. You want to get in the NHL. You want to do well. Uh, I think the way I approached it, Maybe even the last couple of years, is I want to win. Uh, you know, I, that's 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 my main main focus. I think just um, excited about that, and having a chance to do that. And, you know, you got to see a lot of these guys in Washington, and uh, you know, they, they had some pretty good camps. So that made me excited, and uh, excited to finally be settled into Hershey and, and get started.